These are the fog-covered hills near Moundsville, West Virginia. Moundsville is a small town nestled in these hills, which is the site of an Indian burial mound. There's nothing out of the ordinary here except for one thing. It sits on a ridge about 12 miles from the town, and when you see it, you don't believe it. It's called Prabhupada's Palace. It was designed and built entirely by the Hare Krishna devotees as a memorial to the founder of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. There are about 300 Hare Krishna devotees living in the community which surrounds a palace. Based on the principle of simple living and high thinking, the community is designed to become totally self-sufficient. They grow their own food on farms like this one. Here, one of the devotees is harvesting corn. Others work in the many shops which are housed here, building many things for the palace. This iron work for gates. Pottery work and design work for another temple which will be 16 times bigger than the first one. And for the children, well like most children, their school. These children are getting an art lesson from one of the resident artists. And oh yes, how about a school play complete with costumes and makeup. From the school to the palace for a tour with the founder of the community, Swami Bhaktipada. Yes, the, this uh, dome is rather unusual. It's uh, painted by one of our devotees with an airbrush. And it uh, depicts what you might find in uh, any little Himalayan village where so many saintly persons have uh, found spiritual enlightenment. All of this gold on the outside and the inside, is it real gold or is it paint? No, it's real gold. 22 carat gold leaf. You couldn't scrape off enough to get a cup of coffee, but <laughs> it's a lot of gold leaf. Very thin, but Very it's, thin. it's real gold. It's real gold. I couldn't imagine putting a price on this temple because the people were not being paid. Yes, they were, they were I can't either. <laughs> yeah, it would be impossible, I guess. Uh, someone has estimated $5 million. Actually, we've spent about 600000 in materials. What kind of reactions do you get from people in the local community? Do they accept you? And did they accept you in the beginning? Well, in the beginning, of course, uh, they were a little suspicious. People have a tendency to be suspicious of what they don't know about. But now, uh, of course, this building is so glorious and so wonderful. They're, they're very proud of it also. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, this is, this is quite a, a different thing than, than someone would expect from having seen Hare Krishna's chanting on the streets and in airports. Uh, <laughs> it's a different face of Hare Krishna. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, everyone in our movement wants to preach. That, that's a very good thing because that's the only... People are in ignorance now about their real relationship with God. God is our loving Father, but we've kind of forgotten Him. We're so busy doing so many things. So they're trying to distribute in that way, and uh, we've gotten this idea to distribute our knowledge by this way. Now what's in here? This is our main sanctuary. And this is an, an image of our spiritual master, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. This boy is chanting prayers. The obvious question is, why do you shave your head? Well, that is very clean, and that also marks us out as a devotee of the Lord. 
one should dress themselves in a way that will help others to remember God. Just like a doctor, he dresses in a certain way so that people will recognize he's a doctor. A policeman dresses in another way so people recognize that he's a policeman. So we dress in such a way that we remind people of God. God means the original cause of everything. So you could be a Christian or a, Christian or a Jew or a We are Christian. not sectarian. We don't say that you have to call God Krishna. But whatever name you have for the Lord, we ask you to please chant that name and be happy. Now it's time for the Hare Krishna religious service. They have six of these a day. It's called ROT. If you'd like to see what goes on inside, come on. It's sort of like Mass in the Catholic Church, or like any church service in any religion, except that it's held six times a day, beginning at 4 o'clock in the morning. The devotees don't attend all of the services, however. They usually attend two a day, one in the morning and one in the evening. first offering given is incense, the second offering is the lamp, and they seem more interested uh, in chanting and dancing than what is actually going on at the altar. Well, it's been quite an experience. From the Hare Krishna Temple in Moundsville, West Virginia, I'm David Sisson. Stay with us. We'll be right back.